Okay, student, this is chapter 5, uh, point 1 on the numeric filing, but this is a part 2. There is a four types of numeric filing method, which is consecutive numbering method. We have terminal digit, middle digit, and the last one, we have the chronologic filing. So, let's we have a look one by one. Okay, the first one is a consecutive numbering method. As you can see on the screen, it is a, a records. Okay, this is a filing method at which you will arrange the record according to ascending number order. Okay, what mean by ascending number? Ascending numbers here means that from the lowest numbers to the highest numbers. Okay, for example, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, dan seterusnya. Ascending order, again, dia daripada nombor kecil kepada nombor besar. Okay, the second point, as you can see, it also known as a serial, sequential, and a straight numbering. This is a very famous question. So, alam pernah tanya. Okay, uh, consecutive numbering method also known as, okay, you should note that it's also known as a serial numbering, sequential numbering, or the straight numbering. Okay, and most of the time, uh, this method okay, will be used with the pre-numbered records. Again, pre-numbered records ataupun pre-printed records. Uh, meaning that record tersebut dah tersedia ada nombor yang telah dicetak kepada helayan yang walaupun belum digunakan pakai. Sebagai contoh, buku cat. Sebagaimana kita ketahui, buku cat di setiap helayan, uh, helayan dalam buku cat tu dia dah ada nombor yang telah pre-printed. So, walaupun kita tak guna lagi, kita tak isi lagi that track, okay, tetapi memang dah ada nombor yang telah tersedia. Selain itu juga, sebagai contoh macam medical cert, okay, MC. Okay, doktor dia ada satu buku, buku MC, di mana bila patient dia uh, tidak sihat, jadi dia akan isu dia keluarkan MC. Dan setiap helayan MC itu telah ada serial number. Okay. So, the other will be the insurance policy, the invoices, the legal case file, medical records, and also the engineering drawing. Alright? Okay, remember, for executive numbering method, okay, they must have a four components. So, dalam uh, menggunakan pakai consecutive numbering daripada lowest numbers to the highest numbers, which is in the ascending order, kita kena ada empat component. Number one, you must be have a numbered guides and folder, alphabetic guides and folder, a session log, and alphabetic index. Okay, as you can see, okay, after the next slide, I will explain uh, detail for each of the component. But here, I want to show to you numbered guides and folder for the number adalah yang dua ni. Okay, maksudnya guide dia. Okay, ni guide nombor 250. Yang ni 260. So, imagine this is a uh, drawer yang you tarik. So, dia akan bermula dengan 250. Diikutikan dengan 260. Sebab apa? 250 ni, 250, 51, 52, 53, 54, sampailah 259 dan dia jadi 260. So, as you can see that it is a as in the ascending order or we call it as a consecutive numbering method. Okay, not only that, even though we are using the numbering method, but there are still, okay, sorry, this one is a number guide, okay, yang I mentioned tadi, okay, they still will have alphabetic guide here. This is a alphabetic guide. Kita masih ada divider yang dalam bentuk alphabetical order. A, B, C, dan juga D. Sebagai contoh, Okay, untuk dalam drawer tu, di ada general. Okay, kalau you perasan kat sini, kita ada dua. Kita ada general uh, guide dengan kita ada numeric guide. So, in the drawer itself, is a combining at which we have the number and also alphabetic guide. Okay, and afterwards, there will be a accession log and also the alphabetic index in the next slide. Okay, you can refer to the textbook in the fossil engine book at which on page 152. Okay, at which we have the accession lead again. We have number file just now. Uh, number uh, guide and folder, which is we will be file for number file. And for alphabetic guide and folders, at which we will keep for the alphabetic file. Okay, so here, 
Okay, I will explain detail for each of it in the next slide. Okay, but however, you need to know what is the accession log. Accession log, a serial listing of number will be assigned in a numeric filing system. And sometimes it's been called a numeric filing list or accession book. It used to keep track on the numbers that have been assigned to the record. Okay. This macam logbook, at which kita panggil dia accession log, di mana dia menyenaraikan number yang kita telah guna pakai, uh, yang kita telah assign kepada record yang berada dalam number uh, dalam filing system kita. Okay, nama lain dia adalah number file list ataupun accession book. Okay, let's we have a look. This is the example of the accession log. Okay, again, I have repeated it. Okay, it also known as the accession book or the number file at which they list down the number assigned to the record in a numeric storage system. As you can see, file number, yeah, they list down 526. Okay, file apa? Bila dia telah buka. 526. And then the name of file and also the dates. So, it, as a session log, dia ada logbook uh, untuk kita keep track. Okay, uh, nombor dah ke berapa yang ada dekat dalam sistem pemfailan kita. So, sekarang kita ada 535. Okay, and this actually, this log provides the number of codes assigned to the correspondent. Sebagai contoh, kita nak, kita tahu uh, liang, liang, yang. Okay, so kita nak tahu apa file number dia. So, kita boleh tengok dalam dalam logbook ni. Okay, liang, yang ni. Uh, dia punya file number 527. Okay. And the next number available for assign in obtain from this log. Maksud dia, okay, contohlah hari ni kita buka uh, file kita assign sampai 535. So, besok bila kita datang kerja, kita tak uh, uh, kita tak ingat. So, kita boleh tengok balik uh, session log ni. Oh, okay. Kita stop sampai 535. So, untuk hari ni, kita akan start dengan 536. Itu maksud dia the next number available for assignment is obtained from this log. Okay. At which dia membantu kita untuk uh, elak uh, filer ni adalah staff-staff yang buat pemfailan tu uh, dari uh, um, menggunakan file number yang repetitif. Okay, ataupun lebih, kita guna lebih daripada sekali. And here, kalau perasan, name or subject are entered also in the accession log bagi memudahkan kita uh, untuk uh, untuk double cross check. However, name or subject ni, as you can see here, ini adalah yang telah disiap-siap dah buat index order. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright, contohnya uh, Collier James. Collier James. Okay, nama sebenarnya dia adalah James Coiler. Tapi bila telah dimasukkan dekat dalam accession log, dia dah buat indexing siap-siap jadi Coiler. Instead of James Coilers, dia akan jadi Coilers James. Okay, so the next uh, component of uh, consecutive numeric filing is the alphabetic index. Okay, alphabetic index dia terbalik lah. This one is file number and this is the name or subject. But here for alphabetic index, uh, uh, column pertama adalah name and subject. Barulah diikuti dengan file number. Somehow bila kita cari dengan nombor, kita tak, kita, kita, kita nombor memang dalam susunan. Tapi this one tidak tersusun. So here dia dah susunkan siap kepada kita alphabetical order. Nampak tak? A, B, C, D dan seterusnya. Kalau yang ini dia tak dalam tersusun. Sebabnya sebagai contoh kita nak cari Coiler James. So kita kena cat satu-satu. Tapi kalau alphabetic index, kita tahu C. Kita pergi dekat bahagian C. Okay, kita tahu A, lepas A, B dan C. Kita tak terus cari kat bawah. Okay, so Coilers James, uh, file number 531. Uh, itu maksudnya alphabetic index. Okay, it help me us to have a reference to the number file. So, nak cari Coilers James punya file, kita lihat dalam sistem uh, in alphabetic index. Okay, dia 531. Okay. Alright. So, the next one, okay, the index should be accurate and up to date. Okay, kenapa accurate and up to date? Sebab dia nak memudahkan kita supaya sebab every day there will be the new uh, the new file received. So, every day kita kena proses. Dan selalunya kita akan buat uh, alphabetic index ni dalam bentuk computerized. Sebab apa? Uh, senang untuk kita susun alphabetical order. Alright? So, here... The third components of uh, consecutive filing method adalah numbered file. Okay, numbered file yang saya tunjuk sebelum ni in the previous slide. Okay, uh, numbered file 
uh, for example here ada 250 260 so this is a primary card for 250 and di bawah dia ada 250 hingga lah 259 then followed by the new primary card which is 260 okay which is contain the number folder which is filed in a consecutive number order which is tersusun menaik okay with the lowest numbers first okay and it usually will be start for example like in, in even number 10 100 or 1000 kau kat sini kalau tengok kat sini dia dalam bentuk a uh, a uh, uh, 50 okey 250 eh sorry 250 260 every 10 okey so uh, on in the numbered file okey dalam number file as you can uh, see here okey this one is general a, B, C, D but here for numeric file starting daripada here until here is a numeric this is a numeric guide and this is under here is a numeric folder so the primary guide will divide the, the drawer into easy to find the numeric segments so here we know that in this drawer we have 250, 260 so it usually will have one guide is provided for every 10 folder. So, 250 dalam 250 ni sampai 250 ni ada 10 uh, folder dekat dalam guide tersebut. Alright. And usually the consecutive number ni, susunan uh, menaik ni daripada lowest to highest, dia akan ada individual number uh, folder daripada 250 ayat ni individual folder. Okay. 250 guide primary guide dekat bawah 250 ni ada 250 Zakim Allen's uh, individual folder yang ni individual folder individual folder dan seterusnya okay alright and here as you can see there will be one guide for every 10 folder yang macam kita mention lagi lah uh, 10 guide uh, 10 folder ada satu guide okay dekat belakang ni ada 10 folder there will be 270 guide Okay, so here alphabetic file. What is the alphabetic file? Alphabetic file is actually the general alphabetic file in which the guide and the folder caption contain only letters of the alphabet. Okay, kita ada general alphabetic dekat setiap drawer. Kan kita ada uh, alphabetic, uh, sorry general dan juga numeric. So here, as you can see on the picture, uh, okay, as yes, I potong gambar ni, so the first uh, part of the drawer, this one kita panggil general. Okay, saya tunjuk gambar sebelum ni. Okay, this one. Yang ni kita panggil general. So here kita ada alphabetic guide dengan alphabetic folder. Sini alphabetic guide dengan alphabetic folder. Kalau kat sini, numeric guide and numeric folder. Okay, so I show you here. So, alphabetic guide kat sini kita ada A, B, C, D. So, di bawah A kita ada A, 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 O, F. Maksud dia, dia sampai A, O, F. Patut A, O, O, P. A, P sampai A, Z. Dan B, A, B, O. So, this is tersusun juga in alphabetical order. Alright. So, here. Okay, again I show you a general alphabetic folder will hold the record of the correspondent whose volume of corresponding is small or have not yet been assigned numbers. Okay, maksud dia, okay, dalam setiap drawer ni, kita ada numeric dan kita ada general. General ni adalah tempat sementara. Okay. At which, uh, they don't have number assigned yet. So, kita akan letak contohnya direct and direct CPA. Mungkin dia akan letak dekat dalam ni. Direct and direct CPA. Tapi, bila dia dah ada assigned number, then kita akan keluarkan, masukkan dalam ni. Alright. Ataupun mungkin record tersebut, dia tak ada number tapi dia ada small uh, volume, bilangan uh, mungkin selai dua lai. So, dia tak masa, dia tak create lah one, orang kata one folder for that particular correspondent. Okay, as you can see here, kita ada out guide. Yang ni you will cover on, we will cover on chapter 6. Out guide maksud dia ada record di sini, nombor 2, 5, 6 telah keluar. Alright, ada orang pinjam. Okay. So, this will be the uh, filing procedure. I believe in a previous chapter, kita dah belajar filing procedure. So, here they are, they are actually um, what we call the adaptable on the consecutive number filing. We begin with the inspection and then we will have the indexing, coding and cross-reference. We have the alphabetic sorting, number coding, number sorting and also filing. This one you will learn at your own. You can read, go through this. Okay, and 
Okay, for this slide, I will cover in video 5.1 part 3. Stay tuned.